Right, okay, so we're going to uh, fit the flow unit um, to this wall here. So when identifying a, a place to fit flow, there's two things really uh, that will guide you. First of all, I've taken the liberty of putting this pipe in here already. I'll show you that in a second. That's for the airline. Um, and the second part is obviously where you're going to fit flow. And really what you want to do is have it somewhere that it is close to an electrical socket here. Um, so really, um, what I'm going to use here, there, as I said to you before, there are two uh, types of fittings for underneath to connect to the airline. You can use a straight through um, type, which fits on there, and that would mean that your airline is going to travel straight down into the floor. Or, what you can do is use the right angle piece, which we're going to use here, uh, and that simply fits onto the end of the line, uh, and it allows us to be able to bring our airline into it sideways. You don't want to put any undue pressure on the airline, because you know if you bend it too much, it will kink. So identifying that this is the sort of area, um, safety first, you want to make sure that um, there's no cables running in behind the wall here if we do end up drilling into it. Um, so the uh, socket is beside, generally you'll find your cables will run vertical um, up out of a socket or coming up from the floor to that socket. Um, it's very rare that you would ever find them um, going horizontal but nevertheless we will take our, um, safety precautions. Now just setting that down for a second, what we have got here as well. Um, is this airline. Now I've already taken um, <clears throat> the liberty of, of putting that in and I'm just going to take this little wire mesh out um, just to show you. <clears throat> now if you can just see um, down in here what I've done is I've actually made this airline go down through one of the vents uh, in the floor because I know that that's a straight through area um, and there shouldn't be anything uh, underneath there uh, that you know we could end up drilling into. If you don't have one of those, um, <clears throat> you'll notice that the, the boiler room here um, has got these particular uh, pipes and they run down into the floor. Now what you can do is just to the left or the right of them um, just drill down through but it would be a wise idea to go down underneath the caravan and see for yourself or the park home and see for yourself um, just if there's any pipes that are running um, directly under where you're going to drill because you don't want to drill down through and obviously hit a, hit a, um, a water line. Um, so once uh, you get that in, now to put that through that little vent as you can see um, I've just taken the little blade out of a hacksaw um, and uh, I've just cut off you know, um, a couple of the little uh, pieces of plastic just so that this uh, pipe can do go down through. So I'll just place that back on again. What I've also done there, as you can see I've cut a little notch uh, out of this grill. This just stops um, any vermin or anything like that and, and I think it's also a, a little grill that you can set training shoes on top of um, just to air them because there is air going to travel up through there um, from the pipe. So I'll just put that back into place. So just putting everything back to where it should be bringing your airline around. It's too long at the moment and that's fine. I'll obviously cut a little bit off um, but what you want to do then is obviously fit the unit itself. On this particular one as I said I'm going to use the right angle piece and so that is here. Just pop that on, push fit and then see where my uh, pipe is going to go uh, and that seems just about right there and as I say I have a, an electrical socket here that I can plug this into. Now the thing to do, and as you can see I'm stuck in this particular cupboard, you won't need to be, it's just because, because of the filming and so on. Um, but things are going to get a little bit cramped and sore um, after a while and this is a very good reason why you would want to have all of your tools um, here so that you don't have to continually get up and, and go and get them and so on. So make sure all your tools and all of your fittings are here to begin with. Now, what I'm going to do is take a rough marking. Now I have my spirit level. Um, so I'll just set that up on top, okay, make sure the box is level and then using the bottom uh, flanges here, attachment plates, what I'm going to do is just put a little mark where they should be. So I am very much in favour of using pilot holes um, <clears throat> and so what I would do here before fitting um, is I would, I'm just going to fit the first screw to begin with. Now we can use a very fine drill um, or what we can do is use the point of a fine screwdriver just to, to press an indent in there 
or a large screw and just screw that in as well. But these are just rough guides still. Um, but the, really what I want to do is, is get one screw in first of all. Okay, don't have to go too deep. Um, <clears throat> it's just more accurate if you, use, uh, if you use pilot holes. So the first thing I want to do is um, get one of our screws in. Now, we have two types screws and these butterfly screws are bolts um, as well. Now this is a hollow wall. Um, for screws what you'd find is if you're putting it into a, um, a cupboard wall uh, which is made of wood then the screws are obviously going to do the job for you no problem. Um, but if it is a hollow wall um, with the vibration that is in flow it, it could pull those screws out. Nevertheless what I'm going to do is show you just put it together with screws first of all take it off the wall and then we'll use one of these butterfly bolts just to uh, to let you see those. Okay so when we're fitting them the first thing we want to do is we have a one of these little white uh, retainers what you would do is you would put your screw through that first of all and that's going to sit on the outside and obviously what that's for uh, then is for the black cap it's a modesty cap just to make it look better um, so what we'll do then is put this screw through the bottom um, of the hole as you can see and then on the back of the screw just between the wall and flow itself we have an anti-vibration washer okay um, because there will be a bit of vibration whenever it's uh, whenever it's running so um, now what I can do is because I'm using these two open mouthed uh, attachment plates I can just put the screw in first of all and then slot flow down on top of it okay so let's get that in now using uh, a pilot hole does make it easier to get that first screw in okay you don't have to get it all the way in but just enough that it's firm uh, for fitting the unit so what we can do then is obviously slide this jaw between the white cap and the vibration anti-vibration washer okay so that shows us the the next one now you'll notice that I'm using screws as well, or um, a screwdriver as well I don't like using um, a cordless because what you could do is is obviously crack the case um, so it's better if you've, you've got a better feel for it Okay, so <coughs> what we've done is we've fitted uh, flow to the wall, again using the screws. And as I said to you, these are just little modesty caps that you can press over these white retainers uh, and snap those on, okay? And it just makes uh, the fitting a little more attractive. Um, all we would do then um, is then connect up our pipe. But as I did say to you before, um, <coughs> we have used screws into this wall. Now some parts of the wall are firm, other parts are quite hollow. Um, so being that there is vibration, I don't want this coming off the wall. So what we can then use um, are these butterfly washers. Okay, so um, we've taken flow back off the wall. Um, I wouldn't be happy just using screws on a hollow wall like that. Um, so what we're going to do uh, is to say, use these little butterfly bolts um, to push through. Now these basically go into the wall folded up like that and it does take a particular size of drill bit had to put these in now if you have <coughs> what you can use is two different types of drill bit you've got your standard drill bit and then you also have a spade bit here i just personally would prefer to use this particular one but it doesn't really matter now i've got already my pilot holes drilled um, for the positioning of the box um, so i just want to drill through and this is where the pilot holes are very useful um, obviously to keep your your drill head in the right place so I don't want to go too far through the wall as well because there could be cables in behind there um, but just enough okay so I've got the four holes drilled in the wall here um, 12 millimeters and we're going to use these butterfly bolts now thing to do first of course is to put on the white cap that's going to hold the modesty black cap okay and then what we're going to do is uh, put the anti-vibration washer through and then what we're going to do is put on this little butterfly. Now, what you're going to need to do is make sure that, albeit it's a hollow wall, the, the wall, the other side of the wall could be quite close. Um, so you need to make sure that you have enough clearance. Now I'm hitting the far side of the wall here. But what you've got to do is also see if you can um, 
take into account for the flow box as well. So if I were to just put that through there, let's see if it's still too far. Yes, it is. So it's still pushing against the far side of the wall. Now this is where your hacksaw and your little file come in because what you can do is you can take a little bit off the end of this bolt. Now, by doing that, be careful because what happens is, is that this butterfly will pull back as you push it through the wall, okay? Uh, and then it, it will spring out and obviously it will pull against the wall while you screw it in. Now, you just don't want to take too much off this bolt because that has to fold back and it could actually end up folding back and hitting up at the anti-vibration washer which will be on here, okay? So what I'll do is I'll go and get these shortened. Okay, so I've cut this uh, little butterfly bolt down to size. Now I haven't cut that much off at all I've done is I've taken off about 10 millimeters or a centimeter um, or about a half an inch. Now um, just remembering what the order is of putting these components together. You've got your bolt, then your white cap to hold the modesty um, cap, then your anti-vibration washer and then the butterfly itself will just screw on there. Now as you can see I've left enough space obviously um, with the butterfly attached you can see here there's enough space for me to get that through the wall and obviously through uh, the fixing plate of flow itself. Now, try not to make the mistake on the, 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 the lower uh, fixing plates, they're open, okay? So you can just assemble everything and then obviously slide those over, um, you know, down onto the, where, on the bolt where you want that to go. However, if on the other hand, you connect everything up um, into this butterfly washer, butterfly itself and um, we'll just put the thread in there okay um, and if you were to push that through the wall on the top ones okay that butterfly is going to open okay and once that happens you won't be able to get that through what you've got to do and this is why I've put one in already okay you've got to take off the anti-vibration washer just leave on the little white cap itself okay and then push the bolt through, put on the anti-vibration washer and then attach the butterfly on there. Now make sure you give yourself a few threads uh, onto the butterfly so that you don't lose it in behind. You pull back the anti-vibration washer and then that's you, you're ready to push it through the hole. So just pull back the flaps of the butterfly, push them through the hole and you'll hear them flick open, gripping the wall. And that's it okay so what you want to do then um, is just going um, finger tight okay is to just twist and screw this in as much as you can with uh, your fingers first of all just pull back against uh, the butterfly pulling it against the wall and then tighten this up with your fingers as much as you possibly can and then use the screwdriver so what I'll do is I'll just get these other four uh, put into place so <coughs> What we have here, a uh, flow is attached to the wall. If I use my spur level, uh, I can see that the last uh, screws have been put in and I've got it perfectly level. Um, so what you want to do is just tighten up those last screws like so, and then just put on your modesty cap. Now, don't put on the modesty caps until you're absolutely sure that everything has been finished and so on because they're quite hard to get back off again. I guess that's the point of them, um, is to stay on. So you'll just hear a click and that's it. Okay, so the next thing to do uh, is just to connect up our airline. And as I said to you before, either a good sharp pair of secateurs or indeed um, your pipe cutters. Try not to use a, a saw like a hacksaw because it leaves too rough an edge uh, on the end of the pipe. So a good clean cut. Um, so whichever way we want to put this in, just basically take um, a rough dimension. Now there will be a bit of give on the pipe here, okay? So, um, but you need a, roughly about 10 or 12 mil, about a half an inch um, of pipe to go in here uh, to the connector. Um, so just don't cut it too short. So what we can do, um, take um, a feel for where we're going to, about here, and that is, let me give myself a little bit extra, and that, cut it through, like so, making sure you've got your little notch, and that's it, just, right, might want to 
round off the pipe a little bit with your fingers and push it in and that's it that's it fitted so what we need to do now um oh of course we've got our uh, cable here just making sure that it's going to fit into our um, socket here just make sure it's switched off plug it in and this is where your cable tie comes into play um, where you can tighten that around the cable just to keep it neat tighten that up um, by using either cable snips or by using uh, scissors cut that off and that's it so that's your cable tidy um, and it's a good idea actually to use the same socket that you use for your boiler because when you're doing a drain down um, you don't want to be running the boiler at the same time you want the boiler to be switched off um, so by using the same plug socket it means then um, that one can't be on whilst the other is um, so what we've got to do now is get underneath um, the caravan um, park home and get the other end of this airline fitted uh, with this particular tape. Okay, so now that we've fitted flow inside, it's now time to uh, to fit the airline um, to the pipework underneath the caravan. So um, just using our demo piece here, um, as I say, we have our back stopcock uh, and then our front. So it does make sense to put the airline at this point here, um, especially if this is the stopcock that you normally use, which is right underneath the door of the caravan. So. Um, what you want to do is bring this airline as far back to that stopcock as you possibly can but you've got to allow for an amount of pipe to slide in uh, to this push fit connection um, so if you leave 40 millimeters or an inch and five eighths um, what you can do there is i've just made a little mark okay and what you can do sharp pair of cutters garden secateurs try not to use the saw because it will leave a rough edge and it's it's quite sore when it comes to push fit connections and just make a simple snip through the pipe like that now you will get water uh, pouring down out of here okay so you just want to get a connection here as quickly as possible and all you've got to do is make a push fit connection and as I say if you do leave 40 millimeters um, for your cut it does allow you this little bit of space to get your fingers behind here uh, pull that little lug back and allows you to remove it again okay and then just push it back home again now you may be concerned about water traveling back down through the airline well that's where this non-return valve um, comes into play air is allowed to travel through here okay um, but on the other hand uh, uh, water cannot go back uh, through into the airline again now this would be a good place also if you are going to fit a new outside tap um, would be to fit to this pipe also but I would get it on the caravan side of the airline so basically the air is going to now travel up into this particular piece you will turn off your water first of all of course um, to, to uh, stop the water supply into the caravan so you've stopped that air will travel through it will try to go uh, uh, to the right here in which case it will stop it can't go any further and it is no choice but to go the other way go up and start pushing and building up pressure uh, behind those particular outlets but in doing so if you are fitting a new tap if you were to just snip the pipe again and fit this outside tap on here it allows you to be able to drain that also if your outside tap is fitted back here then this is where or anywhere before this particular stopcock this is where this back stopcock um, be it this one underneath the deck in here or indeed one that may be behind the property comes into play because what that will do is it will stop the water supply coming up here now this one has been left open you've turned this one off and so you push the air going in that direction but on saying that the air will also push backwards this way it can't go any further than this stopcock but what it can do is build up pressure and when you open up that outside tap it will push the water out there also